Hello, everyone. Welcome to this almost new vision novel. And this one's called A Sky Full of Stars, aka Mieke de Garan, Yozura no Hoshi wo, Interstellar Focus Special Disc. So, this was released in Japan in 2018. So, it's about four years old at the time of the recording. But, anyways, I'm doing this because I did the So Presents disc for If My Heart of Wings, and I feel that makes sense to do something similar to A Sky Full of Stars. And like So Presents, this is also based on its parent A Sky Full of Stars vision novel. So the really big one and it had many stories in the common and diverse roots plus the character roots. So anyways, it looks like this title is similar and different comparing to So Presents. So by the way, I've already played this once and this one does have that pull top special where if you complete the whole story, you get a new background image in the title screen plus a new BGM. So the original BGM does not have lyrics in the song. But anyways, what's similar is that like Still Presents, this title takes place in a different season than the original title. So A Sky Full of Stars took place during the winter months, while this one, as you can see in the picture with Hikari and Sire, it takes place during the summer months. But unlike Snow Presents, this one is not as special, so you don't get that one-on-one -on -one moment, or the two-on-one -on -one moment, and it feels more like a traditional vision novel. But Pulltop did add one extra special element, and it's that there is a quiz section, as you can see here, so let me highlight the link. There you go. But I'll talk about that later. So, anyways, let's just go ahead and start. So, I'll click the big button here. Okay, so... A large chorus of cicadas surround us in an old house on the outskirts of the forest. So by the way, I'm using Google Translate and Exit Japan as my translation software once again. And for Akito, it's like, hmm, it's noisy, it's loud. And awaken from the drowsiness, I turn around on the tatami mat. And the electric fan shakes its head and sends me in a lukewarm wind. Or blows some wind at me. Okay, and we hear some voice. So she's saying, oh, so I met Nori-chan for the first time in a long time. Hmm, so I wonder, did Kano-san go to some college or like a junior college? And how was it? Wait, no, she has a boyfriend now and I couldn't help it. And let's see. I had no boyfriend for zero years and I gave her a quick instruction. 
And it was kind of weird because she was just the usual person until yesterday or recently. So a loud voice is heard mixed with the cicada bark. I lay down and turn only my neck to the porch. Okay, so we see Hikari and Saya, so Akito tells them, Oh, so you both came? Oh, you're awake, says, says Saya. Oh, you know, Akito, so the way that you were sleeping, you look kind of cute, and because you were defenseless, I was about to kiss you. So taking advantages like this is not acceptable, and if you want, we'll do it together. Oh, well, you know, both of you are noisier than the cicadas outside. I yawn and get up and reach for the glasses that Hikari has poured. And I sweat a lot while taking a nap, so the cold barley tea is delicious. Oh, so that's what's the orange drink. Okay, here you go. Sai offers her glass, and I drink, or we drink together. Hmm, okay, so I'm now rejuvenated. So I'm living in this old house for some reason. Well, it is not a big deal. <laughs> Hmm, so basically, Hikari's commenting about Akito having bed hair. It's like, oh, so this is the way that you sleep. Hmm, and plus, is the AC broken? Well, it is having some trouble, so I'll just ask Saya. Okay. So, for some reason, the AC only works for Saya. And I wonder why. So maybe Hikari is being too harsh and she beats the machine up that it still doesn't function properly, whereas Saya does think and, okay, so if I do it like this, then it'll work. Or maybe the AC has a mind of its own and prefers to work with Saya. Well, anyways, the old AC thought not as big as this one is half broken somewhat comes back to life when Saya hits it. And I wonder if okay so I wonder if it's because Sai gives it enough jolt or is it because the AC wants to work with Saya there you go and understands her cuteness. But anyways that in mind I go to the kitchen to wash my face. And behind the scenes, a noisy chat begins. But anyways, so Ikari asks Saya, Oh, so Akio's face is cute, right? Yep, just like Kota-chan. So the dog. So... It is now the summer of our third year, and I finally got a girlfriend. Or actually, I got both of them. And how did it happen? So, we're going to rewind a few days behind, so July 7th. So if you go back to the day of the Tanabata festival, the situation will be easy to understand. Ok, 
Okay, so this is the opening for this title, Inner Self Focus. And I'm gonna go ahead and skip it. And we'll see what led to Akito having both Hikari and Saya. Okay, so I'm past the opening. And if you remember from a sky full of stars, Akito begins as a first year student. Well, that's not counting the childhood portions of the common and divergence routes. And then if you go with the divergence route A, so that's the Hikari and Saya divergence route, it then advances one year with Akito, Hikari and Saya becoming second year students. And now in this title, they are now third year students. So let's see how it goes from here. So it is July 7th. So the Tanabata Festival. The day when Orihime and Hikaboshi are looking forward to... I'm not sure what ice once a year. However, a cloudy sky as usual. So unlike major convenience stores, there's no in-store broadcast and if there's no customers, the inside of the store is quiet. So basically there's no store music or any kind of media going on. So maybe a TV showing anything. And in such silence, the crisp sound of mechanical pencils scratching on paper echoes faintly. So I can, I can hear all those writing. Sai and Hikari are in the middle or in the cafe area, or I think it's like the um, benches. And I'm studying at the checkout counter while keeping watch on the store. And for Kari, she's already sick of what? And for some reason, I look a little resentful at the profile of Saya, who is studying seriously lying down on the counter. <laughs> so what is going on with Hikari? So she's calling out to Saya. So what is it? Let's take a break soon. Well, just a little bit more. So who cares? Do you like studying so much? And... Let's see. Is it worth spending all that youth on studying? So, does it really hurt to just skip one page? Well, I don't know. Let's see, if the next decades will be ruined because of that one page. So like, well, can we just take a break now? I don't think you're gonna lose much on that one page of lecture or Academics. Hey, stop being like my mom. And it seems that it is said quite a lot at home. Basically, Hikari gets scolded at home a lot for the same problem. We in so as third year students are graduating this year, and there are various career path paths after this. But for the time being, so all three of us have decided to go to college. And basically what I'm doing is studying for those difficult entrance exams. Hmm, so I want to eat these, so dumplings. Well, you can't, so 
This is for the Tanabata festival. And there is dumpling between them, but I bought it at our store a while ago. So I think Akira paid with his allowance or money. Wait, so dumplings are not for the Tanabata, it's for the full moon night. Hmm. So the full moon night, or the harvest moon of the mid autumn. So an event, an event to enjoy the moon viewing on the right, the night of the full moon from mid September to early October. So basically, well, there's no point of waiting because dumplings are for the harvest moon night, which happens much, much later in autumn. And the moon is related to the calendar and is an object to worship in ancient times. So basically, the I think it's like the 15th night to celebrate the harvest by offering dumplings to the moon. In other words, these dumplings have nothing to do with the Tanabata festival. And the store manager mistakenly bought the dumplings because it was an event to look up at the night sky, but it was cloudy and Saya bought one with a half price off as early as possible. So at least they got a discount on this. Well, who cares? And plus, we can't celebrate the Tanabata because it's going to be cloudy and rainy tonight. So just forget it and, the, and just let me have a bite from it. And looks like Sai can't object to Hikari's reasoning. Come on, Saya. So Hikari pulls her sleeves and tries to get Sai's attention, but Sai, who's concentrating, doesn't seem to bother much. Hmm. So I do envy Saya's intense concentration. So she does focus on her studies very well, and that's something of great respect. As opposed to Hikari, who gives up and be begins to make complaints. <sighs> ah, so I kind of feel upset that I can't have a boyfriend for three years. Well, I thought that when I grew up, I could naturally have a boyfriend. And I was hoping to get married in about 10 years, but maybe I'm too optimistic. So I'm sure that's not what Hikari wants. The side tells Hikari, well, you know, it is better if you keep your studies up. And even if you don't get a boyfriend, I'm sure you'll be able, you'll be able to be self-sufficient. So. Well, that's going to make it more discouraging for me to study for the entrance exam. Well, I like to agree with Hikari about that, but it is a compelling reason for me who has nobody. So, well, then again, I'm also alone, so... If you go to college, you'll probably have a boarding house here, and beyond that, you can't imagine where or what you're doing. So basically, if I go to college, then I'll be living in the dormitory, and maybe that will be... or make us less lonely. So Ikari's like, well, I wonder if I can graduate without having a kiss. Ikari sadly says while scribbling on the edge of her notebook. So basically, Ikari's not studying. Saya is good, Akito to kiss. 
And I'm kind of jealous of Sai because she kissed Akito. And that was when the big events in Divergence Route A in the original title. So it was a way for Sai to answer the love letter that she wrote to Akito many years ago. And Akito asked Sai, so how do you feel now? So you wrote this when we were little kids and so Sai's answer was like, well, I still feel the same way, the same as when we were kids. <gasps> and what happened? <laughs> so Sai is upset and she's like, well, that's very embarrassing and why do you have to bring it up? Hey, so why did you say stupid or baka twice? Sai looks at me awkwardly. Well, there is such a such a thing. I'm upset, but I did not show on my face and return, so I act normally. Well, I want to do it too, so Akito, kiss me? Wait, are you stupid? The car is so stupid that I ended up getting upset. Well, I don't think it's gonna be any bad, so Saya? Well, don't ask me. Well, you're a stupid person. Hey, so you told me stupid again? Sai had a tsundere face and seemed to decide to ignore Hikari. Well, all I want are memories. Well, I'm sure there are other memories that Hikari can look forward to instead of this one. Hikari's all alone and messed up with... I'm not sure what... Let's see. Guji is. So Guji Guji. And it looks like, so Mother Satomi, the store manager, is here to break up the tense conversation. So she tells Akito, "Oh, um, hello again, Stormy-kun. So everything, everything's all right." The store manager comes out from the back and tells me to remove my apron. Okay, so you're off the clock. Got it. Okay, so here's a key and go take a look at it before it rains. Thanks, store manager. Akito, Wait, so Akito, so what's going on? Oh, so I'm being assigned a new part time job and I'm going to take a look at it. Ah, Oh, so that's in interesting. So, can I follow you, Susikari? Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to take a look at it. Hikari, hey, Hikari, FYI. It's study time. So, Saya harshly says this because of the previous thing. So don't worry, you can go over there, and there are desks and an AC, so it'll be okay. Oh, okay. Well, I can't help it, says Saya. Fine, so you can study alone over here. Well, I can go there anytime I want, and... So that's fine. And how you said that, Sai's also cleaned up her area. Hmm. So it looks like I'll be going with as a trio.
So I feel that Hikari is using this as an excuse to get out of studying. So it's like, well, it's good to walk around, have some fresh air, explore some things. And even though Mother Sato mentions that, well, there are places over there that you can study. I'm sure Hikari is not going to study after all and play around and pretty much get nothing done. And Sai is obviously not going to be happy about it. So anyways, under the overcast sky, we are walking down the road to the mountains. Sai and Hikari follow a little way from me, walking in front of me. So, let's see. Hmm, the Hikari person. And she's saying lots of unnecessary things. And thanks to that, it's awkward to meet Sai. So it was the winter of that year before the last, and I was kissed by Saya. And here you see the screenshot for the CG from the original A Sky Full of Stars. So as a child, Saya entrusted Hikari with a love letter addressed to me. And when I received it, there were various misunderstandings, so I kept sealing it without reading it. Or kept, I kept it sealed. After reuniting with Hikari, I got to know Saya's feelings four years later. Immediately after apologizing for it, it was a sudden kiss. So, the same quote. So, it hasn't changed since. Or, I haven't changed. So, my feelings are the same as before. And that was about a year and a half ago. And after that, there are various things. Hikari went abroad and Saya, let's see, banned me from revealing her feelings during that time. And this was to prevent me from going out with Saya because of my guilt. And with all sorts of circumstances and emotions intertwined, none of us three have been dating with anyone and have come to this day. And being a friend while knowing that you like it and expressing it is quite strange from the perspective of others. And it's probably because my childhood friend that I can do that. And since childhood, they have shown too much embarrassment to each other and there's no point in repairing that now. And that's why awkward things stay awkward. <laughs> and he cries still on about the Oh, so you want a kiss from me? Oh, sorry. Pass. Why? You're such a meanie. I can't say such a light word, but my child friend, well... Oh no, so Saitan is in a really bad mood and she's giving us a scary face, Akito. Hey, don't talk to me. Well, if you do get upset, then why don't you just go out now? Oh, so I didn't know that I was fluttering. Hey, so I'm not fluttering and can you stop talking about all this? Oh, come on. So I'm getting rejected from two people. Well, I'm headed to the destination, feeling the increasingly awkward air on my back. Okay, so they've arrived at their 
destination, so it's an old vacant house that stood on the outskirts of a small forest beyond the dam. And the signs of when people lived are still flowing or floating here and there. Hmm. So I don't know what Hikari means by Orochine, but it's like, this is a pretty shabby place. So basically, you have to live here from today? Um, no, so today I'm just looking at this place, but I'll be living here after the summer vacation. So with the introduction of the store manager, I decided to start a new part-time job, and I wonder why. So it's not as exaggerated as managing the vacant house. Well, I just lived here and did some simple care to keep it from getting worn out as you can see, it looks like an old house. Nobody lives now, but it may have some cultural value. And it's an old folk house that people in the city call it, and it seems that people who like it and move into it, and sometimes, and sometimes the entire building is relocated to another place. So basically this building looks kind of special and However, if left unattended, it'll be damaged and in the summer, insects will spring up and weeds will grow. And there is a possibility that wild animals will enter, so if possible, I would like them to live or I would like to live in it and manage it and keep it in good condition. And there is one thing that they can do to keep it free from all those wild animals and it's to build some kind of fence around the perimeter. But anyways, so as a store manager, it's easy to just live and I think it's okay to concentrate on studying for entrance exams. So one, it's quiet, and two, there's no distractions, and three, you get lots of fresh air over here. The nature, the greenery, the scenery. Hmm? <laughs> Hmm, so this kind of looks like the house that you, Akito, used to live in. So that was the house that Akito lived with his grandfather. And that was way long ago when Akito was still in elementary school. And it was demolished because of the dam and they had to flood the area and turn it into a reservoir. So one story wooden house, the house my grandfather took over, it looked kind of like this. And it's the last memory that I lived with my family. Hmm, so you're really going to live alone? Well, just for summer. And it's a summer part-time job. Hey, so let's go in then, says Hikari. Oh, don't be crazy. Are you a child? And while saying that, I also unlock the front door with excitement. Hmm, so let's see what's inside. And I hope it looks good so that it's easy to maintain, so I don't have to fix anything up. And that was one of the big things that happened in If My Heart Had Wings. So the main character Ayoi having to fix the roof, and when the storm came, hit the Patch all the leaks up, collect all the rainwater, and well. So Tommy was okay, but it sounded like it was okay. Hmm, so the appearance is like a yokai, and the inside is nice, and it looks like electricity is working in here. Hmm, 
but for Saya, she feels that, hmm, this place is a little dusty. Hey, don't run around because you'll kick up the dust, Akito telling Hikari. I caught Hikari and made her quiet and opened the windows on the porch. Hmm, so I'll have to clean it first. So, I'll help you, says Saya. Well, okay, me too. Well, Hikari, you have to study. Hey, that's... Or like, you're sly. It's against losing friends. Hmm. So, there's also a kitchen and it looks like the floor is dirty. Well, um, I'll clean it and oh, so water. Oh, so we have rain water in here. So that's good. Hmm, and I can make rice for Akito-kun, says Saya. Hey, so that does not give you the right, or this place does not give you the privilege to be the commuter wife. So, I'm just doing it because I feel that Akito kun needs to have some kind of re reward for trying his best to study for those entrance exams. So, a treat. Hmm, and I can't wait to eat Saya's home cooking. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, I didn't say that I'll make anything for you. So, you don't deserve anything because you're trying to skip out on your studies. Um... Hmm, and it's okay for the porch to have or like um a taste. So Hikari sits on the porch, Sai naturally sits down next to her. Hey, so weren't they fighting? Well you know, I really wanted to celebrate Tanabata from here. So because it's away from the city, it's mostly nature, we can also see the stars clearly from here. And I also wanted to cool down and eat some dumplings. Hmm, and I wonder why it's held during the summer months, so Usually, it's raining. Well, you know, there was... Or basically, I don't think I have had a sunny event trial since, since I was a kid. And that's why I feel really bad about it. So... My name, so my last name is Amaragawa, and I feel that this Tanabata thing really fits me because of my last name. And I don't know what Amaragawa means, I'll have to look it up. So I know Hikari's last name, Hokiboshi, that's like a comet. So Sai says, well, it's just exciting and it's going to rain on this day. And then I'm sorry, it's not my fault. Well, I feel depressed. Well, it's not different now. And anyways, why is there Orihime-san? So I know that Orihime is a name and I feel very liberated. 
Well, I'm having a hard time, Saya. Hime san no koto da kara imagoro. Tanabata to yeba watakushi yo. Te mori hagatte run janai. Well, she is a princess. And this time around, well, Tanabata is me, so isn't it exciting? <laughs> so kama. Well, I guess. So the atmosphere is so peaceful that I decided to look around the house alone. And now it's raining, so it's coming down, says Akito. And while I am previewing the bathroom and the storeroom, it starts to rain outside. Wait, so what about Saya? And when I return to the living room, Hikari is at sea, vacantly looking out by herself. <laughs> Well, she went to pick up some cleaning tools and I think she'll be back soon. So, do you not go with her? So, basically, Sai told Hikari, So, you stay here and do your studies. Okay, so then you will study then. Hikari looks melancholy. Staring at the scenery over the porch in the rain. And while thinking seriously about the future, I think I felt depressed. Saya is inconspicuous because she is a beautiful girl, but when you look at it like this, Hikari is also beautiful. And in a dimly lit room, the quiet view of the rain is picturesque. And if you keep quiet, you can do it as soon as. Your boyfriend. And though I think so, I cannot, or I don't say it. And imagine having a boyfriend of Hikari, or being a boyfriend for Hikari because my chest is tingling with an unpleasant, unpleasant feeling. Well, anyways, shake my head, so I got to clear my mind of all those imaginations. And you can see now that they've set up a fan and a table. I decided to continue studying while I wait for Saya. And to totally wipe the table to clean it and spread the study tools you or I brought. Hmm. Hmm. And he cries sits as well. He currently moves from the porch to the other side of me, not opening her notebook, but looking at me studying. And it looks like it's very difficult to do. Hey, so, um, you no, know, if you have free time, why don't you open your notebook? <laughs> well, it's not free time. But it looks like you're not doing anything, so it's free time. So it looks like Hikari is giving Akira the same response. Like, well, the way that I look at you, it makes you look like a different person. I'm sorry, I've always been sick. I'm desperate because I'm late for study. Well, after graduating, I'm planning to get a job, so I'm far behind the people around me in preparing for the exam. <laughs> Well, I like Akito, who is careless. I see, thank you. In in the usual light talk, Hikari's melancholy atmosphere makes her sick. Or makes her let's see. Um listless. Hmm. And outside, so the rain's getting stronger. And I wonder if size okay. And considering the time I that she went out, I'm sure it's about time that she returns. Aww. That's true, but... And when I raise my face to the live reply, Hikari is staring at my eyes. And because it's difficult to do... Wait, so I can just tell Hikari, Hey, um, it's kind of hard for me to concentrate if you're looking at me like this, so stop staring at me.
So Hikari just goes right up and gives Akito a kiss. So Hikari's face approaches me as if I'm sucked in. And when I notice my lips were touching each other. And for a moment, my head turned white and I felt the sound of rain becoming more intense. Wait, Hikari, so what are you doing? And I can't make a voice and after all, her lips are blocked. And in the freezing time, only the lips that I touch is freshly hot. A car does not let go of her lips. And when I had a slight sigh of going down behind me, I push hard and chase after it. Or a slight sign. <laughs> and I could not do anything, I just accepted the kiss. <laughs> and it looks like Saya is here. And I hope it does not stir up trouble. So Saya's like, oh, oh, so the rain's really heavy and it was hard to walk around. Oh, Akito kun, um, Hikari, so I brought some clean tools. And Saya witnesses this. So Hikari seems to notice the existence of Saya when the clean tool that she's holding falls on the tatami mat. And I glance at it. But I still cannot stop kissing. <laughs> so after a few seconds, I regretfully let go of my lips. And that was a very strong message to Saya, so she's at a loss for words. Hee hee hee. That was good. First kiss to see. Okay, so achievement. First kiss. The car suddenly returns to her usual condition and is terrified. However, the air in the place is still heavy like a drop drooping rain cloud. Uh Saya, you know uh, it was Hikari, uh she <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, so I'll come back later. Um, so also, um, I forgot something, so I'm going to go back and pick it up and, uh, oh, so just please continue. Uh, wait, Saya? Oh, she went. Well, that's what she is. Well, Hikari, it was you. I try to put in a strong squeeze, but the heat left on my lips revives and I lose my strength. Oh, I'm sorry. It was just a good chance. Hey, it's not something you should do. Well, it's okay. I like it. And I like you, Akito-kun. Or Akito. Uh, wait. So that's why I like it. Well, plump, no words come out even if I say something. And many things happen too much at once and my emotions cannot keep up. Well, I thought it would be okay if I did it just a little, did it like a joke. And it's a little awkward after all. Well, I'm sure it's no joke. Anyways, I'm going home too, so see you later, Akito. And with that, Hikari is also gone. And left behind in a dimly lit room, I am stunned by myself. Hey, don't leave me alone. Well, that's irresponsible. And when I don't know how to feel... At such a time, I noticed a long thin piece of club paper falling from on the tatami mat. Hmm, a strip. So, did I bring this? Okay, so this is good for episode 1. And we'll see how this atmosphere goes in 
the next episode. So he kind of really kicked things up, and it's quite different compared to what it was in A Sky Full of Stars, the original vision novel. So if you remember from Hikari's character root, it starts off pretty badly with Hikari getting all worked up and getting angry at Akito and harshly denouncing him and it led to the whole drama that followed after. And here it looks like Hikari is more of a lovey type and she got jealous that, well, Sai gave Akito a kiss one and a half years ago, and Hikari wants it too. So in terms of studying, we know that Saya is very smart. She goes to Seisen Girls, which is one of the top schools in the area. So getting into college is going to be easy for Saya. Whereas for Hikari, she's not the Bryce of the bunch. And as little kids, Hikari often bombed her math test. And I'm not sure where Akito falls, but I'm guessing that he's average. So he is not as smart as Saya, but he might be able to get into some college if he puts more effort into his studying on the entrance exams. So we'll see how all this comes down next time.